Today I'm going to show you how to set up FileZilla with your web hosting's FTP, which will allow you to upload, download, and edit files on your web hosting server. Let's go and get started. Okay, before we open up FileZilla, we're going to need to grab three pieces of information really quick. Those are our hostname, our FTP username, and our password. We need this information so that we can properly connect to our web hosting's FTP using FileZilla. And today, I'm going to show you how to find that information on our GoDaddy account. It's quite simple and only takes a few seconds. Um, if you go ahead and click on My Account and scroll down to Web Hosting, we're going to go ahead and click on Web Hosting. Click Launch. And this will bring you to our hosting dashboard where our information that we need is here available. Okay, now after we have the information we need, we're going to go ahead and open up FileZilla. And I'm going to show you two different ways to connect. There's actually going to be one which is going to be right out in the open here, which is going to be our Quick Connect. We're going to go ahead and enter our host information, which is going to be our domain name. Our username, which is going to be our FTP username. And our password. We're going to go ahead and leave the port blank, and we're going to go ahead and hit Quick Connect. Okay, and for our second method, we're going to head over to our Site Manager, which is under File, Site Manager. And we're going to add a new site. I'm going to go ahead and name this FTP. On the right-hand side, under our General tab, we're going to enter the same information that we used to use the Quick Connect. So under Host, we're going to enter our domain name. We're going to leave the port open. Under Protocol, we're going to leave it just the way it is. Same thing with Encryption. Under login type, we're going to change it from anonymous to account. Under user, we're going to enter our username. Same with the password. And under account, we're going to enter admin. After we put in all the information, we're going to hit connect. And this is going to connect us to our FTP site. Okay, after we have it all connected, um, I'm going to show you a couple things on it. Right here is where our root directory is. It's just going to show you our containing folders. Okay, and right below it, we're going to have a little bit more detail into what is contained in the folder. Um, if we go ahead and click on a folder if we have any content already, we're going to go ahead and click on an item. Let's go with index.php, and we're going to right-click it. This gives you the option to download view or edit it, delete it, and give it file permissions. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information in this tutorial useful. And good luck.